All right, for this demonstration, I'm still going back and forth on all the different phases because I want to test everything. Uh, I didn't test support weapons, and I also noticed that um, there's not many examples, probably because it's a stupid idea tactically, um, of people splitting fire with support weapons out of a hex. And I had a super, uh, a super uh, crunchy question. Uh, which I kind of knew the answer to, but I wanted to check with people. So this is all one hex. I've, I've split these units out so people could uh, take a look here and see what I was trying to do because I find it fascinating in this game that I think it's cool that you can split fire. So I'm sure that probably not a lot of people do it. But up here we've got, uh, I finally got a Soviet leader. So we've moved to the, the, uh, the steps of Russia here with some wooden buildings instead of stone. We have... Um, Lieutenant Dremov here and some better uh, better Soviet, first line Soviet unit here uh, and a medium machine gun because what I want to do is I didn't test support weapons so I'm just going to put this video out there and uh, let people kind of nitpick at it. So yeah, it was, it was definitely also a pretty busy uh, weekend. Uh, I spent a lot of time updating my Instagram, uh, doing some work on that page. I, re, uh, I organized all of my uh, shorts on the Instagram front page so they have categories and things like that so if you go over there and check it out uh, I'll put the info up at this part of the video uh, you'll see a lot of the updates on what I've been doing board game wise on there and so that was fun and then I had a few questions as far as some rules that as we played our vassal uh, game Friday night a lot of things happened that I thought I had down and then suddenly they popped into my head and I was like, well, I'm not really sure about that. Let me look it up. Turns out we did do it right, but uh, I was kind of surprised at the harshness of uh, one of the rules was the, uh, the uh, one of the rules was the leader lost task check, which I was shocked. Um, so, for example, the leader lost task check and, I, and then I had to go through and I was, I was looking all over for examples in the book, and I couldn't believe that what I was reading. So if you read this, um, as you know, if a, uh, when you get a result and you have to take a morale check, you check the leader first, and he can't use his morale bonus. So you'll say this unit gets shot, and they fail, and they're going to have to take a morale check. Uh, you'll check the leader first here, right? And I was reading through the book. I'm like, okay, I know about that. He can't use his own leadership uh, modifier on himself. So the leader will check. And there is a machine gun here. It's being crewed by these guys. So the leader will check. And what happened in our example on Vassal was I failed this. So the leader broke. Then <clears throat> this unit uh, made the check. So they were okay, and I was like, okay, cool, and then I kept reading the book, so he broke and uh, did one of these numbers, pardon the unpunched counter, so I was like, okay, then I was reading the book some more, and then I remembered the, uh, <laughs> if a leader breaks all good order units with a lower current morale stacked with him, not in close combat, must take a pin check test after resolving the initial attack. So uh, their morale, of course, is a 7, and his is a 9. So then I was thinking to myself, hold up, um, that's vicious. So even if they've made this morale check, I was like, are you telling me they need to then go back and take a pin check test? And I was thinking, I'm like, that seems awfully harsh. Is that right? So then I went on YouTube and to the uh, ASL Academy and asked uh, there. He promptly answered, and it's true. It is legitimate. So then I rolled for the pin check, pin check test, and then that unit failed in my uh, vassal game. And it just it went it went spiraling out of control, and they and they failed, and then they became pinned. And uh, this whole uh, just went really super bad for me, uh, and it ended up looking like this. And uh, then they had to this guy, you know, he had to route, and it was just it was awful. So. Uh, that was one rules question that I had, uh, so it was nice to see, to get the uh, leader loss, uh, leader loss task check uh, to grips. And that's, uh, if you're in the ASL starter kit, one book that's on page six, six 
and it's buried in one of those paragraphs under underneath the uh, NMC um, normal morale check uh, group. There's a whole bunch of stuff that's triggered under normal morale check. So there's also a um, leader loss morale check if the leader gets popped and eliminated. All right, so my other question was, getting back to this, let's remove all this fun stuff here. Let's get rid of all that. We have a machine gun and a leader. Uh, I want to split fire. Now, of course, this attack is awful. Um, the, the range on this Soviet, uh, this first level Soviet squad is a two. Uh, so they could shoot here. They want to shoot here. The machine gun wants to shoot here. Uh, and then I was confused because I'm like, well, the leader only gets one action. What if he's stacked? So yes, uh, according to the Facebook group, the leader can only pick one, one thing to direct. So I would probably have the leader direct this guy, uh, this, this attack and apply his modifier there. And then I was like, you know, how does that affect Cower? Uh, which I wasn't really sure. Um, so that, that was my main question. So splitting fire, this unit firing here in this house, because you can fire inherent firepower at one target and the machine gun at another target. The leader's gonna direct this attack right and that was my main question so all these things started zipping through my head and then i couldn't figure out what to do if certain things happened and then i read it really carefully and it said whenever a non sorry whenever a non-leader directed mmc attack and mmc is directed as multi-man counter not weapon so i cleared that up myself okay so what i wanted to do then was attack here and then they would be fired. Their range is too. It's, this is really bad, that range. And so the Facebook group answered that question for me. So they would split fire um, and uh, do their thing. And, of course, the leader gets the one action there. Uh, and that was my other question. So that is how I perceive the split fire thing. You don't see many videos on YouTube where they actually split fire coming out of the hex. Uh, where they do that, I could not find anything, and I, I searched even like rule books that I had at the time to find an example where the machine gun would shoot at something else, and then the the MMC would shoot at a different target. I just couldn't find it, so I had to go and ask. Uh, okay, that's it for now. I'll get this stitched together, and uh, thanks for watching.